Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I am having a pretty exciting day at the gym today. I get to go and do my Muay Thai session. So I realized I haven't really spoken that much about um, taking up Muay Thai and why I've taken it up. So I thought I would take you guys along with me for my session and you can kind of see what it's all about. I'm a brand new beginner. I've only been doing this for maybe like a month and a half now and I just do one one-on-one -on -one session with my trainer Paul per week. He's a trainer at the gym that I work at. If you live in Yorkshire or, at, or around Leeds and you are looking to take up what I show you later on, he's the guy to do it with. Um, you can get in contact with him via Instagram. I'll link his Instagram here. I have to get myself ready now. I've just got dressed. I'm wearing a combination of Nike and Lululemon today. But the exciting news, let me show you. What came in the mail? Oh, dun, 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 dun. All good things come in a box like this. I haven't bought new sneakers in so long and I was so excited to finally buy a pair. I've wanted these since they were released. They're the Nike Flyknit Vapor Max in triple black. And I just think that they are so beautiful. Um, for my tie, you don't wear shoes, you just go barefoot. So I'm just wearing these to and from the gym. I wouldn't train in these. They are a running shoe technically. That's me speaking from having worked for Nike back in Australia. Um, they are a running shoe, but I will wear them more as a lifestyle shoe just to and from the gym because they look so pretty. As I was saying, for my tie, you don't really need anything other than hand wraps. Gloves are supplied at the gym that I work at, so I don't need my own pair of gloves. Although I'm thinking about investing my own pair because the gloves at the gym smell. Like anyone who has done a boxing class before knows that if you use communal gloves, they stink. But you definitely need your own pair of wraps, which go underneath the gloves. I've just taught myself finally how to wrap my own hands. That was thanks to YouTube. Please be kind, I am a beginner. I'm only just learning technique and that kind of thing. I've done like a little bit of boxing here and there, but nothing major. So I kind of had like an idea of what to expect, but I've never done kickboxing before. So like anything using my lower body, like knees or kicks or even like elbows and stuff. Like I've never done anything like that before, but it is so much fun. It's the most fun that you can have with your clothes on if you know what I mean. The reason I took it up was because, as I've mentioned in one of my vlogs before, since moving to Leeds, I've really struggled with training motivation and kind of keeping my training quite consistent. So there's not that many kind of different gym offerings in Leeds. So I tend to try and just make the most of the gym classes that are at the gym that I work at. They do some amazing classes, but I'm like, I've been in a bit of a quandary because nowhere really offers the class that I do and I'm not trying to toot my own horn here but I love HIIT style training and I like um, like high intensity high energy classes where you get to go in and sweat it. My background is an F as an F45 trainer, I was an F45 trainer for almost two years back home. I love a group environment, like I love the energy that comes with a group environment, it's super exciting, really loud music. So. There's not much over here that offers that and I've said to Jordan a million times like I want to be able to do my own class but I'm the only one that teaches it and doing my own style sessions on my own I can do them but they're not as fun without people around you and kind of like amping each other up and having a coach there to really push you. So I needed something different to the usual and I've wanted to try something like Muay Thai for so long like even when I was back in Australia. and. I decided it was time to finally buy the bullet. Like I was so unhappy with the way that I was training that I needed something that was going to excite me again. So I booked my one-on-one -on -one session with Paul and I like fell in love from day one. Like it was so hard. The next day I thought that I had been hit by a bus. Like I have never been that kind of sore in my abs, in my lower body, up in my back from all of the boxing. It just got me so good and it got me fired up to train again. So pretty much ever since then, like the highlight of my training week has been doing Muay Thai and I'm really, really grateful to Paul for having like ignited that in me again. I'm gonna go finish getting ready now, put my shoes on, put my wraps on and then we'll go to the gym and I'll show you what we do.
I did. What do you got for lunch? Um, we both do leftovers for lunch because it's the way to go. Leftover nacho, not nut, yeah, nacho mints from yep. the other night. We had Mexican, Mexican the other night. Nachos. Um, we've got leftover roast veg from the night before. When we had roast chicken. Yeah, and I've got some chicken in there as well. Mm -hmm. So pretty much leftovers from the last two nights. And I've got last night's dinner, which is chicken and a chickpea and halloumi salad with lots of turmeric and sweat so yellow yeah it's so nice it's so good but hey no no so no and then out of nowhere <laughs> joey does a share food so i have a question for you what do you think is the best thing about me having started muay thai um, just seeing how excited you are about your training. Mm. Um, Chloe's found out recently that she finds it very hard to train herself, like to motivate, mo to, to find the like motivation to train herself and to be, to be good at it. Um, uh, where I'm probably the opposite. I like to train by myself and, um, and also in the team environment. So it's a bit of. I've been always taught to do mm. extras and do stuff by myself, so it sort of works for me. But now, um, for Chloe, it's a little bit harder. But to see that she's got someone that pushes her, her coach is really good, and mm -hmm. um, just to see how excited she is, well, how excited you are about training and wanting to do the sessions and wanting to be good at it and watching videos and you know she's in no she's under no illusion, illusions that she wants to fight or anything like mm -hmm. that, but. Let's make that abundantly clear right now. It's just really nice to see her so dedicated to it and she wants to learn. She wants to be really good at it mm. and not from the point of view of going to learn to fight and... Just understanding the technique. Understanding it and being able to potentially pass that on to other people mm -hmm. down the track. So I think it's really good. So what so, are we going to do today? Well, we're both home. It's quite early. It's only like midday, so... It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. That's why we are eating lunch. Yeah, and warm enough for us to go outside for a walk. And mm. I only wore one jumper today instead of two. Mm. Like I wore two on my walk to the gym. And then I was like, getting a bit hot under all these layers. Yes. So, took yes. one off. Happy days. It's been a bit tough mm. the last few weeks with the weather, hasn't it? Darling? It has. It has. Had a bit of an emotional breakdown yesterday, guys. Yeah, Chloe had a bit of a why the hell. You know, when I you're here? a bit upset and then somebody either someone either gives you a hug or they ask you, "Are you okay?" and it's at that point that you're not okay anymore, like you can't hold it together anymore. That's what happened yesterday. Like I got home from the gym and I had a rubbish session at the gym. This is a good topic though. I didn't do anything. Like I just went there and went through the motions. Like I trained, but I I hated it. Like I hated every second of it. And it was freezing. And I got home and Jordan was like, how was your session? And I was like, shit. Like I was just like in such a foul mood. And then he was like, come here, give me a hug. I think you need a hug. And he put his arms around me and I just like ugly cried for about yeah. five minutes, like sobbed. And he was, was like, oh my God. I didn't think a session could be that bad. <laughs> it wasn't bad, about the session. I've had some bad sessions in my time, but that was horrible. <laughs> no, it's it's a culmination of everything. As I said to Chloe yesterday, like I can completely understand 
what she's going through or what she was going through yesterday. Yeah. You know, things, she's very positive, so she, I wouldn't say she brushes over things, but she's very like, okay. It's I like, try to stay as upbeat as possible, yeah. no matter how bad things so are. So when things aren't going well, like she's had a bit of trouble, well, she had a bit of trouble with her YouTube stuff, with her YouTube channel. Yeah. Like the last couple of weeks, like just videos not uploading and taking more time than usual and you know, her training and then the weather. The weather's been, it's mid, mid April here in the UK and it's meant to be like 20 odd degrees Filthy. and like sunny and quite nice. Like you meant to have more days of sun than more days of rain, mm -hmm. but Literally over the last two weeks, we've had what both game days have been sunny, and that's it. Yeah. So oh, no, it's been cold and you know, and grey and miserable. Yeah. So hopefully that's meant to change. That's meant to change over the next couple of days and mm. get some decent weather back. But you don't realise how much the weather plays a role mm -hmm. in um, your energy level. I think I have like legitimate vitamin D deficiency at the moment. But it's it's been tough, like it is. Like in in Chloe's only like she's been away from her family since. November mm -hmm. since the end of November so like five six months and this is the first time she's been away from him for this yeah. long it's funny I was saying to like I was talking to one of my best friends about it yesterday and she has done the living abroad experience and I was saying to her that like I thought that now that we we're past the halfway mark it would get easier like mm. it wouldn't feel like it was so long but it's almost like it gets tougher and Courtney said the same thing that like you just want it to come sooner mm. because it's like, okay, like you're past halfway. Like if you've made it this far, you can make it to the rest of the time. But in your head, it's like <sighs> things start feeling monotonous. Yeah. Bloody oath. You know, like you start like feeling like time's dragging on a little bit or something like that. I don't know. And as I said to Chloe yesterday, she's constantly picking up the pieces for <laughs> me on a weekend when we're not playing well and we haven't been playing well over the last probably month. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've picked up a drawer in the last month, which is not anything to shout home about. So she's had to pick up the pieces for me. Um, and which is, as I said, not a burden. It's not a burden, but it, it... But it's emotionally draining because, like, I'm having to be emotionally stable for the two of us. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, she's going to work and doing her thing there and her training and mm. she's juggling a few things at the moment and... Like the she's burning the candle from both ends, so it's what usually is an all all lasting candle that never runs out. Yeah, it's taken its toll a little yeah. bit, but it's all good. So, yeah, it's all good. I have the big dog looking after me. Can you get? I was eating that. If you don't get your plate and finish it, I was trying not to like be eating all of the foods whilst on camera. Why is that? Because I did. No, because the rest of it I have to scoop and I feel like there's something really uncivilised about scooping your food. Why don't you use your knife and do that like the normal way? Like that? Yeah. Because I'm still scooping. See? Oh, come on. It's not a good time. So I was just waiting until we were off camera to finish it. Hands off. Okay then. <laughs>